is up guys it is m and a anglers and yeah this is a new youtube channel and today we're going to be doing a catch and cook as you can, as you can tell in the title we got matthew over here he's got a heartburn <laughs> let's get it so today we're going for whiting oh, on the pumpkin over there oh well i've gone wrong extra 2000 views yeah Aiden just caught a fish. He caught, he had two. Maybe. He had two whiting. I caught uh, two, but I let one yeah. back because it was too small. This is going to be what we're eating tonight. One of them. We're going to try to catch some more. Yeah. No. Yeah. And yeah, so that's basically we're at the beach. And here's the hookup right now. back at the house we got the fishing pole over there and we caught four whiting well we caught six but um we only kept four because some of them were too small and so this is the four that we have so that's four fillets each for me and Matthew and we'll show you guys when we get to flying Hey guys, so yeah, this is M and A, M and A fishing. This is an M and A fish. M and A anglers. And yeah, today, well, you already know what we did. We went to the beach. We got the fish. You guys just saw me inside the garage showing you all the four. I mean, all the fish. So we got some whiting. And then, so we did some fling earlier. We got um pretty good chunks right there and then so yeah so now I'm going to be showing you how to fillet this it's pretty easy all you're going to have to do is go under the fin cut down but not too far that you get into the guts of course like that so you just want to punch puncture it and then you want to go down the backbone then you want to cut off the tail uh, sometimes it gets hard because there's a bone in there ready never mind all right so and then you when you go down the backbone I'll show you guys what it looks like after that saying once you're done cutting off the backbone you've got basically this slip when you're cutting the backbone remember just use like here and up just to saw down the backbone don't go fully through and then after you're just gonna want to nice and softly just go right through and I'll show you guys after what that looks like so once you're done cutting down like I said you're basically just gonna have this flap of meat where you can just push down but you're gonna want to close that and cut down this so yeah let's let's see it Aiden. I bet you didn't believe in me Here's the perfect fillet out of the fish. So once you're done with this, oh, don't forget you have the whole other side. So you're just gonna put that over there. And then all your scraps, you're gonna wanna have a trash bag over there so you can throw it away. And so now let's get to skinning. So you're gonna wanna find, so the skin's over here and the meat. You're gonna wanna find in between those meat. It, it gets a, it could get difficult, so. Just be careful, and then once you think you've got it, flip it up and try to separate them and see if you got it. And you don't wanna leave any meat on the skin, so that's perfect. And then you're just gonna wanna nicely go down the meat. And yeah, that's basically it. And I'll show you guys this filet after. So what you're gonna have 
after is your nice filet, both sides skinned. And you're just going to put it on nice cold water. And yeah, that's basically it for this one on. Aiden, how do you cook this? Oh, you want me to learn how to cook it? Oh, so just come over here. All you're going to need is your seasonings, redfish magic. If you don't have it, go get it. Secret sauce. Well, seasoning. Then we got our pepper. Then we got our kosher, kosher salt. Salty. And yeah, cue the montage. Why after all this time, it's still my mind. come over here first uh, seasoning it's a little bit spicy but if you don't have it it doesn't taste good so you're just gonna want to sprinkle a little bit a little bit on over your fish <sighs> smells good it smells good wait what I'm the cameraman oh, shoot. that came out a little fast but if it comes out fast you just toss all the pieces in it as usual, toss them in, hold them up. Yeah, so that's it for the that redfish magic. And then you're gonna want to get your salt. Just light on the salt, unless you love salt, but I mean, light on the salt for me. Because I'm not big on salt. I mean, I like salt, just not too much. And then you've got your pepper. Coat that in there. Then you can put some lemon on early, or you can put it on once it's on the grill. I'm gonna put a little since we have a whole lemon. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a couple. Then you just grab your cilantro, put it in. But and then I'm just gonna put the um some of the lemon on early and some later. And yeah, that's basically it for the seasoning part. Oh, and the butter, but we'll do that once it gets heated up. And that's basically good for the seasoning part, but once it gets to the grill, I mean, it's going to be good. Get, if your grill's a little bit, like, has this all, and then we lit up the fire fire. Matthew, how does it look? Looks delicious. Then we got our fish over here, and let's get into cooking. So the grill's heating up right now. What's the temperature, Doc? 50 degrees. So, um, if your grill, like, if you grill a lot, you're gonna get the stuff on it, like, um, like, bad, burnt stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do is put it on a high heat, and then you're just gonna wanna scrape that off before you eat. We got our fish ready to put on the grill. We're, we're, the, it sticks, if you're using, if you're doing whiting, it sticks to the grill. So I would use tin foil and um, like a metal little thing that you can get out of your toaster oven. Close that, let it sit, turn it down a little bit. And yeah, you just watch and enjoy the show. So fish update has been on for like five minutes, but I'm gonna add a little bit of more lemon juice on there. More flavor, the better. Yeah, so Matthew, how do you think it looks? Good. Oh, it smells good. Two seeds just popped. Let's close that. <coughs> really nice, guys. It's coming along. It's ready. All right, guys. So this is our meal. Well, yeah, kind of meal. Appetizer. Appetizer. And let's try it. Break off a little piece. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. It's like, uh, it's like soft, and with that, um, I just can't speak. It's it's good. So, if you guys can ever try this at your house, if you guys ever come to Melbourne Beach, then just hit me up, and yeah, I'll take you guys waiting fishing, and we can maybe cook them. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe. Don't comment because I don't feel like reading the comments. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye.